Woo! Episode four. I can't believe it. So this is week two. We're we're wrapping up. Oliver, can you believe it? We did week two. You gonna leave me hanging? It's gonna leave me hanging. All right. So uh, it, it's episode four. Um, episode four is uh, the, the email is really long. Uh, this person wrote like a really long email. Uh, so I'm gonna give you the bullet notes. Uh, yeah, definitely the bullet notes. So this dude is 25. Um, he came out to close friends when he was 21. Uh, now he lives in D.C., Washington. Uh, and you know, he's really busy and fulfilled in life and stuff. And he's out and, uh, he wants to know if it's okay just being by himself. <clears throat> I'm basically just looking for your honest, candid opinion as to whether you think some people are meant to be single their whole life or if I'm just being dramatic. Uh, again, sorry for the long ass email. <laughs> so thank, thank you for apologizing. It was long. I read the whole thing uh, a couple times trying to figure out what you were asking. So basically, he wants to know, like, he's fulfilled, right? He's fulfilled. He he kind of idealizes the idea of having another person, but he's otherwise fulfilled in life. And you know what? Uh, there's a lot of different strokes for different folks, which is something older people than myself used to say <laughs> because of a TV show. Uh, but um. Yeah, th this is a situation uh, that's that's kind of prevalent, you know? There's there's a lot of people out there who never plan on having kids, who never plan on getting married. There's a lot of people who uh, don't want their relationship to be confined to one other person and want to date a couple different people at a time. Uh, there's people who want one devoted person but have an open relationship where, you know, they have sex with other people but they have their soulmate. Um, and then there's like polyamorous relationships where they love three or so more people equally and that's like their their relationship is with like multiple people so you know what? there's a bunch of different kinds of ways to live through life and just because we're spoon-fed this idea um, our entire lives uh, through Disney and other you know media and stuff where it's like you know we all have that one person out there um, some people aren't interested in having a one special person some people want many different special people and some people just want to be single. So you know what, man? Um, you asked to remain anonymous, so you're homie. Homie, uh, listen, it's okay. It, it's okay to be single. You know, don't, like, of course at family reunions or when you see friends, they're going to be like, is there someone special in your life um, keeping you happy and whatever? And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It, it's however, whatever makes you happy, really. You know, this, this whole idea that we have that one true person, I mean, at the end of the day, like most marriages fail. And for good reason, because monogamy is an exception to the rule. The rule is that we all wanna like kind of, except for like asexuals and stuff like that, we all kind of wanna have sex with people. Like at any given moment, we could be walking in a mall or whatever and be like, oh, I wanna fuck that person. And that feeling doesn't go away when you get married. You still wanna fuck other people, you know, in a relationship, you're still gonna wanna, you know, want to fuck other people but you don't because you know you know it would hurt the other person um or sometimes they do and they're called cheaters or people who have an affair and stuff like that and that's like way worse you know if you if you know that you're not someone who's interested in monogamy and to lead somebody into monogamy and be like yeah but like i still want to see other people or whatever if that's not okay with the other person then you guys shouldn't try to make it work because you guys just have different things i'm getting i'm getting off topic what I'm trying to say, I think, is that, you know what, there's different strokes for different folks. If you think you could be happy being single, you know, focus on your career. I think Tim Gunn, the homie who, like, uh, does, like, Project Runaway and stuff, I think I read somewhere he hasn't had sex in, like, nine years or something like that. Um, because he's fulfilled with his work. Some people just aren't into the whole, like, relationship thing. But from your email, it sounded like you kind of humor the idea. Like, you think about having somebody special in your life. And you know what? I, for me, it works. I love I love being in a relationship. I love having one other person who I can be completely myself around, sensitive and vulnerable, and know that they're gonna care and love me unconditionally. For me, that was important. Um, but that's just because you know I, I that's my preference. So you know what? Don't don't feel bad about being single if you enjoy your life. If you're happy and you feel fulfilled doing whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And if you feel fulfilled by having multiple partners or an open relationship or whatever, all the more power to you. Don't let anyone look down on you for that stuff because you are chasing your own happiness. And some people don't even have the bravery to even chase their happiness in the first place. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with polyamorous or all, all that stuff. I'm cool with it all. I don't have like religious connotations saying that 
you know, one man, one woman or whatever. It's not like my thing. I just think if you are a sexual being or a, a being who likes having close emotional connections, do it however you want to do it because nobody has like this definitive answer where it's like, no, it has to be between one man and one woman for it to work because we know that not to be true because most men and women who marry break up and divorce and stuff, you know? So who knows? Who knows? I think you're doing okay, Holmes. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, you're single. You're happy. You're you're at a, you're at a good place in your career. It sounds like. Um, so yeah, screw it. Enjoy yourself. Have a good life, man. Right, Oliver? You're not giving me anything on camera. All right. Well, I I apologize for my co-host's silence. He's usually much more open. Uh, and this was week two of um i had sent sunday i hope i answered some good questions i'm sorry it was only four like i said i ran out of time um yeah so yeah i, I look forward to hearing from you guys send me some stuff send me questions send your emails to i had sent inquiries at gmail.com and you'll probably be on next week's episode um and i look forward to it i'm, I'm having a good time with this guys I, I think i'm doing some good i hope <laughs> all right well you guys will tell me, I guess. Send me some comments. Uh, tell me what you liked about this videos. I hope the full lighting thing uh, did it for you guys who did not like the dramatic lighting. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Wow, this is cool. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.